Hi everyone. We are going to read The Giving Tree. It's one of my favorite books, okay? It's by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. See the little boy is walking. See his feet? Well, his foot. And every day, the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. See that? The tree is so giving. He gives to so many people and so many things, but he always gives to that little boy. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. See all the apple cores? And they would play hide and go seek. Where is that boy hiding? And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. See, the boy's getting older. And the boy grew older. Look at here. There's one, two, three, four legs. And before, it just said M E plus T, which stood for the boy and the tree. But notice this. <gasps> There's two hearts now. And it says, M E plus Y L. Hmm. And the tree was often alone when the boy got older. Then one day the boy came by came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches, and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. That's very nice of the tree. See how he's always giving? That's why he's called the giving tree. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Even though all of his apples are gone, he's still happy because he made the boy so happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, come climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. Look how old he got now. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was still very happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, 
The tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away. Take me away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. Look how old he got. Oh my goodness, he's getting so old. But that tree loves that boy so much and he keeps giving and giving. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. Look how old he is. So skinny and old now. I am sorry, boy, said the tree. But I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she possibly could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. You notice how the tree was always so happy when he was able to make the boy happy? He, that's all he wanted. He wanted to make him happy. And now what I want you to do is I want you to get me a piece of paper, any size, napkin, whatever you guys can find around your house. And I want you to draw a tree. I drew mine already. And on that tree, okay, I want you to write words of people or things that always make you happy or that you always try to make happy. So I wrote family because my family always makes me happy and I always try to make them happy too. I try to always do everything I can. Then I wrote students I wrote you guys because no matter what, I, you guys always make me happy. When we have our student, our meets, oh my goodness, it makes my day because I miss all of you so much. And I know that you guys miss each other also. My friends, my friends always make me happy. Your friends probably too. And even my silly cats. If you have more words to write, you could write them all around the tree as well. But think of people and things that make you happy, okay? And if you don't want to write who, you could write what they do, just like the tree, what he always gave. He gave his apples. He gave his branches. He gave um, his trunk. He gave everything because he loved the boy so much. You can write what people give to you also, okay? And when you're finished, um, right, drawing it, I want you to text me or email me the picture that you drew, okay, with the words. On the paper that's next to, next to this is going to be the document, I'll write some words to help you with the spelling, okay, and I'll put some pictures next to it also to help you. But I do want you to do this, and I want you to send me a picture because I really, really would love to see 
what you guys um, drew and wrote. Okay. Have a great day and I miss you so much and make sure that you're always giving just like that giving tree.